Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Natalie by Henry Margot in the color 27AH. So let's get started. Natalie is a casual, everyday, mid-length, textured, slightly wavy style. I think this is a style that will look good on so many different faces and head shapes. It is a really great everyday style. This is definitely a workhorse wig with one exception. I'm going to need to put some layers down this front because this wants to hang in my face and it for sure can be steamed back, but I think for my face and for my lifestyle, I think I will enjoy some more layers cut right in here. It is lightly layered, like there are some shorter pieces. But I think for me, just right around my face, it's a little heavy and I think it would keep it from wanting to flop in my face. Now, it's a mono top. You can definitely get that away from your face. It's great. There is a lot of hair tied into the top. That's a good thing. That gives you the options of layering it or thinning it to meet your likes. I like that they tied in so much hair at the top. If it's perfect just as is for you, but you want a little volume, all that hair up there gives you the opportunity to be able to steam some lift and some style into this piece. Lots of great options with how they created Natalie. The cap on Natalie is a lace front. The lace goes from here to here. It's a full mono top. And then Henry Margot caps are very roomy, very comfortable. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. This is very roomy. I mean, it gives great coverage. It actually comes down, I mean, it would come down over my ears a little bit. When I put this on, I put it on like I do all my wig caps. And when I put it on, I was like, oh wow, this has really good coverage and it wanted to keep going. It's not uncomfortable, it's not too big for me, but I'm just letting you know, if your head is larger than 22 and a half inches, this one will probably fit you. If it's smaller, you're just gonna have to take it in. And you can watch other videos of wig reviewers that have more petite heads because besides they're just adjusting it with the adjusters that come on the wig, there's lots of people out there that have actually made some cap modifications to cinch those in even more. Besides the lace front and the full mono top, Henry Margot has really nice ear tabs. They're felt covered. It has the felt covered extended nape, the Velcro adjuster, and then Natalie otherwise has machine sewn wefts in the cap. It's very stretchy. Like I said, it's roomy, it's breathable. Henry Margot makes really great caps. The measurements on Natalie says that the bang is 10 and a quarter inches. And this is definitely one of those pieces that you could cut a bang in. I think this would be super cute with a bang cut in it, or even, like I said, I wanna add some layers. I think this would be super cute with like a side swept bang. This style, the way they've cut this, they have left you with a lot of options for modification. They say that the top is 10 to 12 inches and the nape is six inches says that the side is seven and a half to nine and a half. And the website says that the back is six to seven inches. So like I said, it has, I've got this all over my face. It has very subtle layering. And it's mainly near, near the bottom. 
which just gives you a little bit of volume. When the layer is mainly around the bottom and with this the texture like this, what that does create is kind of a flatter top and then most of your volume is around here. Depending on your face shape, you may like that, you may not. There's always things that you can do if you don't want so much volume. Just kind of flatten down the bottom and then pull these layers up a little bit. This wig has just enough texture to where the hair fibers can help you in creating that volume because the layers, the permatease, none of that's gonna help you create volume, but it does have just enough layering and just enough texture to help you with that. So I mentioned permatease. Let's talk about the permatease and the hair fibers. These hair fibers on Natalie are very silky. Um, I would say they're medium in denure. They're not, they're not super fine. They are very silky and there is some tangling. I really think that the tangling comes from the texture of the style. It's not really wavy. It's more that air dried look. And then the front here is more straight. And you see how that, the way that moves, you can tell that it, it's a little heavy right here. And when I was wearing it, I just, I kept finding myself just kind of curling it back like this so that it will learn to stay away from my face. Now, since wearing it, I have decided that I do want to cut some layers into it, but I don't know if I'm gonna cut layers into it myself. I think I'm gonna save that for a visit to my stylist. And as you all know, if you guys are watching this, when I put it out in March of 2020, we're all on a lockdown, stay at home. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to get into my stylist before this review comes out, but I'll be sure to do follow-ups and of course, post pictures on Instagram and kind of keep you guys posted on how this turns out. But it's very beautiful with no modifications. You can definitely teach this to go away from your face. You could add some steam and then just training it. These are the best tools you can have when it comes to a wig. So use your hands, the heat from your hands, the oils from your hands really is the best tool for shaping and styling a wig. And so you just kind of keep rolling this away from your face and it will keep it back. The permatease on Natalie. Natalie has a light coating of permatease all over, not on top. That's where the monofilament is. There's quite a bit of hair tied in up here, but everywhere else on the wig, when you get it and you look at those wefts, right along the wefts, you're going to see little cut hairs. That is to provide a little bit more hair to cover those wefts so that if the wind blows, you're not going to see those tracks. It is not a ton. It's not even every weft that has the cut hairs, but it is all over. It's not enough that like from the outside, it doesn't feel like there's any permatease on the sides. It really doesn't feel like any permatease from the outside of the wig. But when you stick your hands in there, you feel it and, and you can see it. It's not fuzzy, it's not noticeable, it's not pillowy, and it's not going to give you a lot of styling help. It's not gonna give you volume. Like I said, the volume is going to come from the texture of the hair. And if you can just kind of mess it up, dirty it up a little bit. That's gonna help you get some volume. And then you can exaggerate that by kind of pulling this down and flattening out this very bottom layer. That's gonna kind of exaggerate the, the little bit of lift that you get. I think, Natalie, the way it is cut and the hair fibers, I think it looks very natural. I think it moves very naturally. I just, I think this is a really pretty style. You can definitely tuck this one behind your ear. 
options with this wig and I know I said it before but those of you that like bangs this one is going to cut so easily into bangs I feel like it's just a medium density of hair it looks like quite a bit of hair. Oh, and it weighs four ounces. Now I've got it all in my fake eyelashes that I can't get out. I feel like this front is a little heavy. I mean, the more I mess with it, there is just a lot of hair tied in on the top and then when it when you add that to the sides see when when the front is pulled up off of it this is just like a normal amount of hair but then you add all this to one side or the other and it just it does add that weight on there but oh, it's pretty that's not a bad thing anything i'm saying is not a bad thing right The color I chose is 27AH. This is my favorite Henry Margu color. It is their light red. It is subtle. It is very natural looking. It is the red that if you're wanting to try reds but you're still a little bit nervous, this is a good one to try because it's not in your face red. But it's very natural to me. I'm very comfortable in it. My natural hair color is a light orangey red strawberry blonde color. It's very similar to this. And this is right up there with Aesthetica's R30 2826, John Renault's 27MB. This is just more subtle. This can look light brown. Um, I wouldn't say it looks light, brown, light blonde. It, it looks either light brown or light red, but it is a very pretty subtle color and very natural looking. Okay, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the permatees and the hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Natalie is it's fantastic. This is a great everyday wig. The cap is comfortable. The measurements are mid-length. They're not fussy. I would say the only thing I'm going to change is adding a few more layers right here just to lighten this up and keep it out of my face. There are so many modifications that you can easily make to this style to tweak it just a little bit more in your favor. But right out of the box, this is a shake and go style. It has the, the air dried look, that textured style. I mean, it's ready to go right out of the box. It's not heavy. It doesn't have a ton of permatease. I mean, this style just checks so many boxes that I can't say enough good things about it. <laughs> okay, so this has been Natalie by Henry Margot in the color 27AH. A special thank you to Name Brand Wigs for sending me this piece and giving me the opportunity to put it on my channel. If you haven't checked out Name Brand Wigs, I invite you to do that. They have a wonderful website and excellent customer service. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about Natalie.